everyone else going welcome back to another walking dead video so on this one here i really wanted to talk about the echelon briefing and talk about what this is in the walking dead universe because this is something that uh really only the higher ups at the crm know about and it's really all of the crm secrets and okafor mentioned this obviously in the very first episode saying that eventually you guys are going to learn of the echelon briefing you guys are going to be taught everything all the crm secrets like you will you will get there and uh, we learned in episode three as well that, you know, after Pearl Thorne learned of, uh, or I guess once she got the Echelon briefing, she was now more committed than ever to changing the CRM from within and continuing Okafor's vision. And so it's very interesting because this is something that, like, obviously Rick in episode three was supposed to get the Echelon briefing from Beale, but Michonne obviously grabbed Rick and now they're uh, trying to escape the CRM, right? And so... I don't think Beale's going to be in episode four and five because it seems like it's all about Michonne and Rick trying to get away. But I think that this storyline is going to come back into play in the finale where I do think Rick is going to get the Echelon briefing. And I think it could really I'm wondering if this reveal could be very similar to the reveal of, you know, everyone has the Walker virus that 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 Rick learned um, from Dr. Jenner in the finale of season one of The Walking Dead, because a lot of this season really kind of mirror, I, th I think, the very first season of The Walking Dead. And so I'm wondering if that is where we're going here, if maybe some of the predictions of, you know, Alexandria blowing up, because again, Jadis, you know, she's been saying that like Alexandria is going to be blown up if something happens to her. What if that happens? And that is similar to the CDC blowing up, obviously, in season one. And then at the same time, as Beale, you know, blows up Alexandria, he tells Rick, you know, or he gives him the echelon briefing. And maybe it's not in a way where Rick's going to be promoted because now Rick's in trouble. But basically, he tells Rick everything. And basically, Rick is, you know, horrified by everything. And now, was more convinced as to why the CRM is as secret as it is and why certain things are happening. And I think it's going to really go back to what Okafor was trying to do and why he was trying to change everything. Because as of now, we don't really know why that they're trying to change stuff. Why did Okafor want to do that? Why is Pearl Thorne now wanting to do that? You know, they're so focused on just trying to escape. Like Rick doesn't even really know. Rick doesn't want to leave because he's scared that Alexandra is going to be gone, right? Like that's the only reason why he doesn't want to go. But what if he learns of the Echelon briefing and that changes and he's just like, no, we actually can't go, right? So I want to talk about what the Echelon briefing is here. So before we go any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walking at content like this. I do want to do a Carl Grimes video i'll probably do that after this one here i do want to talk about the carl grimes reference in uh, episode three and also talk about rj a little bit and certain reveals that i think could probably happen in episode four that i think would be pretty cool a bunch of videos coming out this week honestly there, there, there's a lot there's so much to talk about right now so the echelon briefing as i was saying you know it's a big question mark we don't really know what the echelon briefing is but all we know is that it was something very, very serious. You know, Okafor was like, you know, once you get this, you're going to realize basically, you know, why we need to change things. And he was so committed to changing things from the inside. And I do think that means getting rid of Major General Beale and um, certain things like that. Right. I think that's what he wants to do. But obviously, Beale, you know, he can't know that this and that. And I think that's why Beale is being, you know, he was getting very suspicious of Okafor and stuff. And so he, now he's very suspicious of Michonne and Rick. And so, you know, there is definitely, I think he is the problem, or at least he's one part of the problem, but the Echelon briefing seems to be something that is very, very important. They've been talking about it over the last however many episodes, and it's a big mystery right now. Like, what is this? Because whatever it is, it changed Pearl. Like, Pearl was already sort of on board, but once she learned this, she changed. And if you think about it, like, literally just think about her arc in the episode. In the very beginning of the episode, she was friends with Rick, and then all of a sudden she got more power. She then had the Echelon briefing, and then afterwards she became like a full-on villain, right? Like, she was trying to kill Michonne and all that. Like, she just changed entirely. So this is something here that it's obviously very important to people. Like, it's something, whatever this is, it is something that changes people because they realize that, well, okay, this is really important and, you know, uh, getting rid of people, this and that doesn't really matter overall because this is sort of the main thing that we need to focus on, right? And so, you know, in terms of what the Echelon briefing could be, there's actually a couple things that, you know, I'm thinking that it could be. And that is, you know, maybe how the apocalypse started or maybe uh, the CRM or the old government, maybe they formed walkers, right? Like, is that a possibility? Did all of this start because of experiments going wrong or did they try to cause this? Like, is that something that they're going to be, you know, dealing with here? I think that would be really insane, you know, like Rick learning that, you know, this was all caused, like this actually, because again, I'm just trying to think of how this show is going to end. And I will say halfway through, 
It does not feel like the show is about to be over. It doesn't feel like we're about to witness Ricky Michonne's ending. Like, that's insane. We're halfway done. Like, it just it feels like it just started. Like, that's kind of insane. And I'm just going based off of season one of The Walking Dead. You know, the pilot really mirrored the pilot of this show. And then I think the finale of this could really mirror the finale of the finale of, you know, The Ones Who Live. I just think that it's going to be very, very similar. And I think, you know, I'm trying to think of what it would be like. Like, Rick, you know, in season one, episode six, he learned that everyone has the Walker virus. So it's not like you can just die and then that's it it's like no when you die you're going to become a walker it was just that's that's the thing and rick kept that a secret now imagine rick gets the echelon briefing or something i don't think they're gonna do it in the same way like i don't see it being done like that i, I feel like beale's just gonna tell rick everything just sort of you know because when dr jenner told rick that like that was a, a secret that he just kind of whispered and we just learned about it afterwards right we didn't learn about what any of it was really right away and so i think yeah i can just see this being a reveal in the finale i, I think rick could learn of the echelon briefing because they talked about it in episode one they talked about it in episode three and i think it's going to be something that is very shocking and very you know eye-opening to the to the fact that you know there's something bigger than all of them and i think that could really show us why Okafor was doing what he was doing, right? Like why, you know, he let his wife die and all that kind of stuff, you know? Like, I feel like it could really, you know, just open his eyes to like, whoa. And I, I don't know what it is. Again, there's a lot of things here. So it could mean some of the stuff with the, with the triple P card. That is one aspect to it as well. We know Gimple has said recently that that is something that he's going to be getting into. Uh, I don't know if he said soon or anything, but he said that that story has been like fully written and it's like on a shelf or something like that. And I think he was kind of teasing some elements of it being in the show. And I wonder, you know, three episodes in, I'm like, well, what part of the story so far would that be, you know, hinting at? And I think it would have to be the echelon briefing, right? That has to make sense. So there's something that is a bit more higher up here as well. Uh, there also could be some cure stuff. I think that makes sense. Like cure stuff, walker related stuff, variant walkers. I feel like that's sort of what the echelon briefing has to be. Like, it's something that is more focused on that, I feel like, you know, because there's variant walkers, obviously, in in France, and I feel like the CRM probably knows about what they're doing. Like, they have to be, right? Like, because, you know, uh, they, they were literally getting walkers from America. They were in Maine. The Triple P card was also found around Maine, you know, in Tales of the Walking Dead. I think it just makes sense that there's some sort of connection here, that they're doing tests, they're there's stuff that they're doing overall, and I really feel like that's probably what it is, is that the CRM or the old government or whatever, you know, they've been doing stuff like this for a very long time, and that's sort of what, you know, they're still doing stuff like that. You know, it's starting to have an effect on the walkers now, because not only did they create walkers, they're starting to create variant walkers now. And I wonder if that is what the Echelon Briefing is, is that basically they are responsible for creating walkers, and now it's even getting worse, because they're creating variants, and we're seeing that in Daryl Dixon. And Rick Grimes learning this, he might be like, whoa, right? Like his whole life, the whole entirety of, well, not his whole life, but the whole entirety of the last however long since the apocalypse has started has been because they created walkers, right? And um, and now, obviously, they're trying to do something worse in terms of variants and all that, right? Like, I wonder if there's something there. Because the Echelon briefing, obviously, it changed them, right? It really, it seemed to change them. Pearl Thorn, you know, uh, her and Okafor really wanted to change things from the inside. But it was like, as soon as she had that briefing, she was like, as soon as you know the things that I know, like, you'll understand, basically. I don't remember exactly what she said, but she was very convinced at this point. And she was trying to tell Rick, like, just wait until you know what I know, right? So I'm just wondering, because of all this stuff happening in the Walking Dead universe, you know, the post credit scene at the end of World Beyond as well. That post credit scene was at the very end of a show about the CRM. And what was that post credit scene? Well, we see Dr. Jenner talking about variant walkers and all of that in France. And there was like this meeting that happened in, o in Ohio and stuff. And I just feel like all of it's connected. It's too just like, you know what I mean? There's too much stuff out there. It's like, it'd be so random if it was just nothing, you know? So I feel like it all makes sense. It's all going to tie in together here. And I wonder if that's what we're building up to in the finale of, of uh, The Ones Who Live Here. And again, we're three episodes in. I don't know where this story is going next. It seems like episode four is just the Rick and Michonne episode. Five is going to be Jadis hunting them down. So it doesn't look like we're going to be getting into the whole echelon briefing and some of the major General Beale stuff until the finale, right? Like, I feel like that's where we're going to deal with that. And I feel like they have a really awesome moment here to make this finale so, like, whoa. Like, it's such a big reveal on everything that it just makes everything make sense. It makes, you know, uh, I guess what Daryl is going through in France make a lot of sense. And 
We'll have to see with Dead City. I really feel like they still have to change that show up a little bit. Like, just make it a little bit more exciting because they're dealing with just, like, I don't know, just, like, such random stuff that, like, it's not as exciting to watch. Like, it's still cool. Like, I, I love the characters, but, like, I would like there to be some more connections there. You know what I mean? But, yeah, anyways. But that's sort of my thoughts on it right now. I, I do think that the Echelon briefing is something that is going to be very important because, you know, it it's not going to be something that is just sort of ignored. You know, it's not like we just have to focus on Rick and Michonne. Like, the Echelon briefing is something that they've been sort of talking about that's something that Beale wants to, you know, teach them. And as soon as Beale tells you that information, obviously, it's going to change your sort of mindset on everything. And that's the thing, like, you know, with Rick and Michonne now escaping, Beale is not going to want to tell Rick that, right? Like, there's no way Beale's going to tell Rick that. But it depends on how it's done. Maybe Beale is going to kill Rick. And so because Beale was going to tell Rick that, he's like, you know what, I might as well tell you this this and that, blah, 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 whatever, and Rick is, like, horrified as he's, like, about to die or something like that, and maybe, you know, he destroys Alexandria, it's like a crazy finale, but then somehow Rick escapes, and now he has this knowledge, now he's just like, whoa, whatever, but it just depends on so many aspects of the story, you know, like, can you have the story continue with Rick escaping the CRM? I think a part of it could be if he goes to Portland. It is more of a thing that I think Rick would have to, you know, talk to a lot of people within the CRM, and then sort of, I don't know, maybe a civil war starts or something like that within the CRM, right? I could see something like that happening, um, but I don't know if they're going to go down that road. I don't know where this is going. All I know is that the Echelon briefing is something that seems to be really insane, and the Triple P card mystery is still out there, and Gimple's been talking about that more recently. I think that some of that, um, you know, the Variant Walker stuff, I feel like that plays a role in the Echelon briefing, but let me know your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.